Good morning and welcome to the channel. Great cloudy day. I'm Great Cloud Sage of the Eternal Moment. Dealing with a lot, but I'm serial here and I'm alive. I was trying to find my Living a Life of Awareness book and I don't know where it's at right now. So I'm irritated. I got to deal with my toe. Big hole in the bottom of my left toe. Big toe. Uh... Waiting on a doctor to call me in a little bit. Hopefully for a phone conference. I have an appointment next Wednesday for the guy to look at my back and my toe. Hopefully my toe will get better looking before next week. Going to try to get some antibiotics prescribed. But here, since I couldn't find a living a life of awareness, if you're interested in anything about the Toltecs, let me just read you a little bit from the introduction uh, that tells you about the Toltecs from the Fifth Agreement. Thousands of years ago, the Toltec were known throughout southern Mexico as women and men of knowledge. Anthropologists have spoken of the Toltec as a nation or a race, but in fact, the Toltec were scientists and artists who formed a society to explore and conserve the spiritual knowledge and practices of the ancient ones. They, became, <clears throat> they came together as masters, Nagwals, and students at Tikahuan the ancient city of pyramids outside Mexico City, known as the place where man becomes God. Over the millennial, millennia, the Nagwals were forced to conceal the ancestral wisdom and maintain its existence in obscurity. European conquest, coupled with rampant misuse of personal power by a few of the apprentices, made it necessary to shield the knowledge from those who were not prepared to use it wisely or who might intentionally misuse it for personal gain. Fortunately, the esoteric to Toltec knowledge was embodied and passed on through generations by different lineages of Nagwals. Though it remained veiled in secrecy for hundreds of years, ancient prophecies foretold the coming of an age when it would be necessary to return the wisdom to the people. Now Don Miguel Ruiz and Don Jose Ruiz, Nagwals from the Eagle Knight lineage have been guided to share with us the powerful teachings of the Toltec. Toltec wisdom arises from the same essential unity of truth as all the sacred esoteric traditions found around the world. Though it is not a religion, it honors all the spiritual masters who have taught on the earth. While it does not embrace, while it does embrace spirit, it most accurately described as a way of life. It is most accurately described as a way of life. Being a Toltec is a way of life. Distinguished by the ready accessibility of happiness and love. And there you go. A little bit about the Toltecs, if you're interested. Hopefully I'll find my living a life of awareness. And uh, I want to read some of it to myself today. Like I said, I'm waiting on a doctor to call me. Trying to calm down. Trying not to cry. Trying not to hurt. Trying not to want for anything. Trying to not need anything. Trying my best to survive. I gotta get off here. I need to rest my foot. Wait on the phone call. I'm going to try to eat a little something. Once I know something from uh, what the doctor tells me, hopefully I get some antibiotics. I'll let everybody know what's going on. I may try to go live later today and see if anybody's here. I won't be smoking nothing on live. I won't be partaking of any drink either. Uh, I will be uh, going back to being sober from alcohol, uh, to the best of my ability for uh, a while. Uh, I have to straighten up. I got to get my act together and uh, I got to take care of my health. Ain't nobody else going to do it for me. Pray for me. I pray for you. Love you all. Ditto. Gray cloud. Melancholy and down. Well, I'm happy too. I'm melancholy and happy at the same time, guys. Imagine that. 
You can be both. So, till next time, Great Cloud said to the eternal moment over and out, and ditto.